The Yeti has four modes, stereo, cardioid, omnidirectional, and bidirectional. You select the matching symbol on a selector dial on the back of the Yeti. Stereo overlaps, cardioid is heart-shaped, omnidirectional is a circle, and bidirectional is actually two circles intersecting at a point, not the symbol for infinity. Cardioid mode is what I'm using now, and for almost every solo narration I do. Notice, if I speak a little closer, the sound gets bassier or warmer, and when I back off from the mic, it hollows out. This is something to keep in mind when doing long segments, multiple takes, or redoing sections in cardioid mode. When it comes to setting up and positioning your Yeti, the manufacturers have two words of advice. Do this, don't do that. Although it's helpful, I find that this picture doesn't tell the whole story. You'll note the Yeti in the picture suffers from curvature of the spine. I almost hate to admit that most of the time I'm talking down to my Yeti. I prefer to remember. Keep the face of the Yeti at a right angle to the sound source. In almost every other situation, stand the Yeti straight up. Stereo mode, with two circles overlapping, is perfect for vocals, ensemble choirs, instruments, groups and events in general, especially when they're on a stage. When you want to capture the crowd noise, use omnidirectional, the single circle. It's good for events, orchestras, field recordings, and of course things like webinars where there's one mic to be shared by many people, and of course conference calls. In either of those cases, you might put it on the middle of the table. Use bi-directional, two circles touching, for interviews and duets, whether they're instrumental or vocal duets, or groups of instruments that you can set face to face. For example, if you were recording bass and drums live off the floor for bed tracks. Use heart-shaped cardioid for everything else or for just about everything.